when you communicate to Facebook what you want to accomplish, they work with you and they use their macro data and micro data to give you exactly what you're trying to accomplish. And that thing, guys, gets better with time. If you didn't go and create content back then, then I want you to stop this video and go and create it. And let me give you the instruction as to where we should be starting. This is my opinion. I think that we should be thinking about the long game first. You guys have been around for a while. A lot of you guys are e-commerce entrepreneurs. A lot of you guys have been in business for a long time. So you know that we're playing this for the long game. So the first thing that I wanna go after is a little bit of a branding message. I wanna start with a story about your brand. How do you actually worked on creating that brand? How did you actually come into existence? What is your origin? Show people about the creation of your product. Maybe talk about a particular aspect that is really cool about your business. Something that can, they, they can relate to, whatever it is. If you have no clue about where to start, we can talk about that later on. One thing that you can do is you can go over to the Facebook group, which is an awesome place that you can start now engaging with people and asking for thoughts or advice or maybe surveying like, hey, I have a, a brand that is such and such kitchen. What do you recommend I make? Because we are all helping each other out. So if you have any questions, you can jump in there. And we have a lot of resources today that are gonna give you the tools for you to be able to start creating some content, consistent content. There's so many tools about this right now. On the resource section, there's gonna be a content creation section that's gonna give you access to tools like VideoScribe, that you can actually go in there and create your own whiteboards with animations and maybe templates that make it easy for you to go in there and create a video from scratch. So the world has made it much easier for you to go and create content, to tell a story about your brand, to start spreading the word about how awesome it is and how hard you worked to get to where you are. So let's go ahead and create that right now. If you already have that created and you have a nice little video for branding, whether it is 30 seconds or two minutes or even five minutes, we can go ahead and use that now as his first example. We're gonna go after the branding objective this time around and we're gonna start investing some dollars some hard earned dollars towards reaching people that could be our right audience. So on this video, I wanna show you guys about the objectives on Facebook. This is very important because the reality is that Facebook is somebody that wants you to succeed. They want you to have results. Again, I mentioned this before, if Facebook gives you results, you keep going back to them. You give them more money. You give them your recommendations for people to go and use the Facebook platform too. So it's an essential part of them to continue to grow on this fast-paced advertising world. So when you go to the ads manager, when you go to the business manager and you select the ads manager option and you go to create campaign, you guys know that we have all these options in here. Let's talk about what these objectives are. An objective, by definition, is something that you would like to accomplish. What would you like to accomplish with your particular campaign? Now, we already decided that from the previous lesson. Well, you already know what you're trying to accomplish in this particular first campaign. So, with that decision, now you look at the Facebook objectives and you have to tell Facebook what you are looking to accomplish. Why do you have to tell them this? Because when you tell them this, they actually work towards giving you that. This is one of the reasons why that boost button doesn't work well. Because with the boost button, you cannot tell Facebook what you wanna accomplish. You don't have an option to tell them like, hey Facebook, I want to accomplish more visits or conversions or video views or whatever. You simply just put money behind it. Here on the business manager is very different because you are gonna work with them. So now you can tell them and they can work with you to give you the most results. Now, how do they know how to give you the most results? It's very simple. They have data. They have more data than anybody else. So for example, if there is a Facebook user, let's say Joe uses Facebook every day, and Facebook knows that Joe is going to different websites left and right and never purchases anything. It's like what we call a window shopper. Let's say that Joe is a digital window shopper and never buys a penny. Facebook has that data. Crazy, right? They know that Joe is a window shopper. So if you tell Facebook, hey Facebook, what I want to accomplish with my particular campaign is conversions. I want to get people to buy my product. Do you know who they're going to exclude from your campaign? 
they're not going to put their message in front of your message in front of Joe because Joe is a window shopper. So what happens here? They know that Joe is going to go visit your website and bounce and not be interested in anything. Maybe he's broke. Maybe he's cheap. I don't know. Well, whatever it is, we know that Joe doesn't buy stuff. Facebook also knows that. So you use that power, you use that knowledge to your advantage and you got to tell them exactly what you want. If you don't give them this data, Facebook puts the data, your message in front of anybody. So by doing that, now you're putting your message in front of people that don't buy online, for people that are not your customers, people that are not interested in your services. You get what I mean? When you communicate to Facebook what you want to accomplish, they work with you and they use their macro data and micro data to give you exactly what you're trying to accomplish. And that thing, guys, gets better with time. Because with time, as you build a relationship with Facebook, they get to understand more and more and more what you want and the customers that respond to your message and they give you more and more exactly what you're looking for. Make sense? I hope it does. So this is an important part of it. If you don't choose the right objective, you're probably going to fail. If you choose the right one, you're going to be able to scale that. Let's quickly go over them. What do they mean, each one, and how we decide which one to use. There's basically three columns when it comes to your, what you're trying to accomplish. Three steps on the way of selecting an objective. Not steps, but actually areas. For example, one of them is awareness. You can see on the top, on the left right here, it says awareness, okay? The other one is consideration, and the last one is conversion. Now, this is brilliant. And let me tell you why this is so awesome. Because if you think about it, this is an exact marketing funnel. Freaking amazing. Why? This is what Facebook wants you to do. They don't want you to start with conversion. They don't know. They don't want you to start with this side. Why? Because then you become a sales machine. You're only, all you're doing is you're selling. They don't want you to start with consideration, meaning like driving people to the website or generating leads or sending messages. They don't want that. What Facebook wants is for you to develop an awareness and build a relationship first. So what they want for you as a first step is to build campaigns that are going to connect with people, that are going to build a branding effect for your company. That is the first step. That's why the first option here is to select a branding and awareness campaign. You've got two options there, either brand awareness or reach. So let's see what brand awareness is. Very simple. It says increase awareness for your brand by reaching people who are more likely to be interested in it. Wow, this is awesome. So does that mean that if I choose this objective, Facebook is gonna work with me so we find people that are likely to be more interested in my brand? Wow, this is amazing. The smartest computer, one of the smartest ones together with Google and Amazon, is actually gonna work with me to give me the best possible results. Awesome. The other option is called reach. On the reach one, this is what it says. Show your ad to the maximum number of people. This is cool because what we're trying to accomplish in this one is a little bit more specific. Instead of the branding effect, we're trying to show that to as many people as possible. So if I say I have a campaign goal of reaching 100,000 people, that's the objective that you choose. And then you just go based on that. You can select a specific audience, but they're gonna give you the biggest reach at the lowest cost. That is on the awareness side. So now on the second part of the funnel, as we are building this relationship with the customer, you can actually now do campaigns that are consideration campaigns. What does consideration mean exactly? Consideration is very simple. Consideration is exactly getting a person, getting a customer to start considering you as a potential supplier of something, as a provider of some information, as a person that is going to service you or a brand that will service you. You're trying to get them to consider you. You're not trying to get them to buy anything yet. Simply have you on their minds. As simple as that. So what do we got? We got a traffic campaign. Traffic campaign means simply that we're sending as many people to our websites as possible. Or for example, if we want to send people to Messenger, that's something else that we can use right here. Traffic. Traffic means exactly that. It's volume, it's people, it's bodies, eyeballs. Then we have engagement. What does engagement mean? Well, 
Engagement says right here, get more post engagements, page likes, event responses, or offer claims. So for example, later on, we're gonna be talking about how to have Amazon, you know, maybe uh, give you a distribution for your uh, store directly to their Amazon shop. Well, maybe you can use this campaign because this one is gonna get you a lot of people to share your post, like your page, and create engagement for your page. This is a post that we also use. This is a publication and objective that we use when we have an event. If we have an event, we can use that one to generate a lot more attendance. If we have an offer on our e-commerce shop, let's say that we have a 20% offer. Well, we can actually give Facebook the coupon and then they will distribute it to uh, for us. And then the, the individual uh, customer, the, the eyeball, the eyeballs, the person that is on the other side, is going to actually claim that offer and Facebook is gonna be reminding them of the actual offer and sending them emails about it. Really cool stuff, so you can use this as an objective. Then we have uh, app installs. I don't know if any of you guys inst uh, work with apps, but you have an objective to get as many app installs as possible. If you are an app developer, this is the actual objective that you should be using. Then we have video views. Video views is self-explanatory. We're trying to get as many video views seen as possible. We can try to get as many people to see our videos as possible. Obviously, this goes without saying, this is only for videos on Facebook, videos on Instagram. If you have images, then that wouldn't qualify, as simple as that. This is something that is really powerful, and I use that campaign a lot. It's actually a campaign that could technically belong on the awareness side, on branding. Facebook also calls it a branding campaign, but they put it there under consideration because it does get people to start considering you as a brand that they can actually engage with. And not only that, a lot of people, more and more today, are selling with videos, are generating leads with videos. So it does make a person to start considering and thinking about you. Lead generation is exactly that. Uh, for those of you guys that are interested, we will also cover this later on, but this is really powerful for brick and mortar shops, for people that have physical stores, for people that have like maybe business to consumer or business to business that they want to service them one-on-one. -on -one. Really powerful because here, what you can do with lead generation is really, really awesome. What you can do is you can build your own mini landing pages inside Facebook. So now when somebody says, yes, I want more info, then it opens up instantaneously a page which we call uh, a lead generation page on Facebook. And then since Facebook has all the data about you, birth date, they have your phone numbers, your uh, names and your emails and a lot more data, you can pre-populate that data. And when somebody clicks on that lead generation form, it simply pops up all pre-filled already. And all you gotta do as a customer, as a potential is select the option that says submit. And now it can all be programmed for the person to actually get an email, a text message, and the actual business gets an email. It can get actually placed automatically on the CRM, Customer Relations Management Software. So for example, if you have a business that services people, you can actually generate leads on Facebook. And when somebody says, yeah, I want more information about your cleaning services that you do home delivery on, like it's you send out a cleaning crew to, to clean your houses, I want more info on that. Really cool. Somebody says submit, the instant that they submit it, your sales team on their customer relations management software gets a big announcement. Hey, Joe Paris, actually just submitted their information. Here's the contact information. This came from a Facebook lead form. So now you have this sales team that is dynamic and you can communicate with your customers instantly. This is great stuff, guys, for like chiropractors, for dentists, for any kind of doctors that are looking to generate leads, for like uh, persons that are delivering services. For example, like if you are looking for customers and you have a software company, lead generation is awesome. If you have a particular service, lead generation is freaking amazing, okay? So that's something that we can explore later on. Okay, we only got a couple more. This one right here that says messages right here, we are recently going crazy with this one, guys, because guys, this is huge. And this is a new objective that just came into play a couple of months ago, and we've been getting more results on this one than anyone else, than anybody else out there or any other objectives. What does this do? When you do a messages campaign, it actually optimizes your ads to get as many messages as possible. 
Obviously, if a person doesn't use Messenger, they don't even get the ad. Isn't that cool? Do you know that not everybody has Messenger? So now when you select this option, it actually will put your message in front of people that are more likely to engage with your Messenger. So now when you send them in there, guys, this is really powerful because Messenger is battling hard with email to be like the new form of email marketing. I don't know if you guys have seen a lot of that, but I've been doing a lot and I'm building some massive sales channels using Messenger. So what do we do? We use Messenger reply messages as the actual objective. This one is really, really cool and we'll be exploring that later on. Then the last consideration, the last level is the conversions. Conversions is exactly that. You're trying to create a particular action. By definition, a conversion is drive valuable actions on your website. So for example, if you're trying to generate leads, if you're trying to, to generate purchases, if you're trying to generate add to carts, whatever action that you wanna accomplish, you optimize for conversions. So Facebook will work with you to put your messages in front of people that tend to convert better than others. Really cool because now they're giving you what exactly you want, what you're looking for. Conversions are really important and as we've covered before, they're gonna work with your Facebook pixel. That's gonna be the main thing that they're gonna be using. Your Facebook pixel actually shows them that you have converted that person, that that person went to your website and purchased, or that person went to your website and actually got the lead. Without the pixel, the conversions on objective is not going to work. Okay, and in the catalog sales, we talked about setting that up. When you select the catalog option as the objective, then Facebook is gonna help you optimize for catalog sales. This is where the magic happens with the dynamic ads. If you're gonna do dynamic ads, retarget people that have visited your website, all you're gonna use as the objective is simply catalog sales, nothing else. That puts the, the campaigns into an evergreen format in which people are gonna start being targeted based on their website visits. And also you can target people based on engagement with your videos, even if they haven't visited your website. Really, really cool stuff. The last one for companies that have local services, that have stores, that wanna get people into the store, there is a store visit objective. I have tested this out and it's really successful. Why? Because you can use geolocation and you can find people that are close to your actual store. And by doing that, you can actually communicate with them and bring them into your store. Let's say for example, that you have a agency in which you sell travel airlines or travel tickets. Well, you can actually target people that live in Miami. They want to travel to other parts of the world. Or let's say for example, that you have a tourism agency you can actually target people with store visits that you want them to come in to check you out that are just visiting in that location. So all of the things you can do, you can go and do in there. You can put your phone numbers, you can put your locations and you can just drive people to your store. What is the objective? Drive people to your store. <laughs>